Welcome to the LCF School, reading the resistor color code. Today in the LCF School we're going to talk about resistance and resistors. Resistance is the opposition to current flow. Many times resistance is added to a circuit to achieve certain results. The component that is used is called a resistor and it's designed for this purpose. We're going to learn the as electronic aspects of resistors in a future lesson. But this lesson today is going to teach us how to tell the res value of a resistor by reading the color code on the resistor itself. Now resistors come in different sizes and different types. Carbon resistors, wire wound resistors for high power, variable resistors for changing the volume and so forth on radios, resistors with multiple taps. Looking at these resistors, we're going to learn to read the color code and determine the resistance. See we have brown, black, brown, and then there's another band here that's gold. That's the tolerance. In other words, how close is this value to the actual value we read? And we're going to learn that color code on the band as well. Here we see orange, white, brown, and over here, red, red, red with a tolerance band. So let's go and see how we read this color code. The carbon resistor is the most common type of resistor. It's made of a compressed graphite coated with an insulating type of paint. The painted color bands are coated to indicate the resistance value of the resistor. It is the purpose of our teaching today to teach you how to read this code so you can identify the value of carbon resistors. Each color on the resistor represents a number 0 through 9 and it's represented according to the following color chart. The color black is 0, brown is 1, red 2, orange 3, yellow 4, green 5, blue 6, violet 7, gray 8, and white 9. And there are various ways to remember this. Here's a little rhyme you could remember. Better be right or your great big venture goes wrong. Zero through nine. Now let's try this resistor. It's green, brown, red. Well, if you look here at the chart, you'll see that green is five, brown is one, and red is two. So it's five, one, plus two zeros, or 5.1 kilo ohm or 5100 ohms. You see it's pretty easy and we're showing a gold band here which is a tolerance of 5. If that band is silver the tolerance is 10 and if there's no band it's a 20 percent tolerance. Let's try reading one more resistor and then we'll hook a meter up to it and see how it compares with the meter reading. This resistor is brown, black, brown with a gold tolerance band of 5 percent Okay, the first digit is brown, which is 1, looking at the chart. The second digit is a 0, which is black. And the third digit is an, a 1, which means add 1, 0. So it's 1, 0, 0. That's 100 ohms. Well, let's hook a meter up to this resistor and see how close it is. Well, here's this 100 ohm resistor. And we have the meter down here. It's a multimeter. Let's hook up the probes and see what it says. Well, it says 98.6 ohms. 98.6 ohms. It's supposed to be a 100 ohm resistor with 5% tolerance. Looks like it's within a tolerance level, and it's uh, very close to 100 ohms. So it looks like uh, our system's working. Well, we're going to go on to another lesson now and learn how to make uh, resistor calculations. But we'll do that in another lesson. We're using some text material that was created by NCR Corporation and that we obtained from them and wrote into some basic uh, electronic books with the Blacksburg Group and this book was called Basic Electronics Course with Experiments and my colleagues here Chris and John Titus, you see Titus, Lardison and Titus uh, Dr. Chris Titus, myself and Dr. John Titus and we were the Blacksburg Group, and we wrote and produced a series of books called the Continuing Education Series. And we use these little bugs for our symbol. And there's a website, if you'd like to look at it, the Bug Book Computer Museum. You can see about all of these books there. And we'll be talking a little more about them. But we're taking this information that you see here out of this particular book on basic electronics and looking at resistors at this time. It's been a pleasure doing this little educational module, Reading Resistor Color Codes. 
Basic materials from the Blacksburg Continuing Education series, a series of books produced by my colleagues Chris and John Titus and myself during the late 70s and early 80s. Thank you very much for watching our video. Have a great day and we'll look forward to the next module.